Pat Farbaugh with senior Lorenzo Jerome. Mr. Jerome was the Stats FCS National Special Teams Player of the Week for his performance against Montana. Zo, congratulations on that. Uh, as a senior leader, coming off of that 41-31 loss, what's the team's confidence level right now going into the Towson game? It's actually great. Like this week of practice, we were focused. We moved fast during, during plays. Coach V wants to see a fast practice this week. So our confidence level is actually really good. But I got to focus on telling the team, like we're still 0-1, we still lost. So make sure our attitude is straight. 196 yards on four kickoff returns, a 79-yarder uh, for a TD. You also had an 86-yarder uh, in uh, the third quarter. Uh, you're one of those multi-threat guys. Uh, do you enjoy the special teams any more than playing in the secondary? I enjoy actually both. I like just like playing football. It doesn't really matter to me. But on the special team-wise, the guys did excellent job blocking for me. Credit goes to them. My, I just was patient and just found the hole and just went, found the crease and took off. On the defensive side, two picks and ten tackles uh, against the Grizzlies. Last year, uh, played Towson last year, the first contest against Montana uh, a week ago. 35-20 loss at Towson. You had a school record 99-yard kickoff return for a TD uh, for good measure, a 70-yard interception return. Uh, it was there for the taking a year ago. Uh, are you excited about this uh, opportunity now in your senior year uh, to knock off a uh, fully funded FCS program and Towson gives you that opportunity. Yeah, it's going to be actually great. I'm just going to go in there, just lead my team, be the best captain I could be and just play football like I do every week. It's not really, it's just another, another game. This is a nice crowd. Just go out there and play football. You mentioned the captainship. As a leader of this team, uh, a guy who's played right from the start, how excited are you for some of the younger guys' success? Uh, Dejon Lee, the freshman inside linebacker, he was the uh, freshman of the week on the defensive side, uh, some other standout performances. Uh, you're a senior statesman now. Is that exciting for you? Yeah, I'm actually proud of Dejon Lee. Uh, he actually wears my number 22 during practice. So when he first came out there, I was like, who's this kid wearing 22? And then he actually balled out, got a pick for his dad. I was like, all right, you can have that number, man. <laughs> so he's performing really good on the field, so I'm proud of him. He has to keep it up and stay humble. Pat Farber with head coach Chris Valerio. Uh, coach, how would you rate the effort against Montana a week ago? I thought we had a great effort um, overall as a team. Um, I really enjoyed watching it uh, from, from a coaching standpoint to see how far we've come. Obviously the result at the end of the day wasn't what we wanted. Uh, we lost the game, but I thought the guys gave great effort. They, they played with a lot of uh, um, hype and, and, and it was great to see they were picking each other up when, when the cards were down and when adversity struck, uh, they were there picking each other up. So. Um, you know, I thought we grew up a little bit in that game. Played four full quarters, took the lead into the fourth in a very hostile environment. Did you think that just being in that sort of environment in front of 26,000 fans uh, will help the team down the road? I, I hope it does. And I hope, you know, hopefully as, as we learn to win more games, that it helps us it, and it carries us into when there's going to be adverse situations in games that we can overcome that adversity and um, be able to, to calm down and, and pull out the possible play or plays that could win the game. So uh, we're hoping that this experience helps us grow um, as a team. But, uh, um, you know, we still need to close. And, we, you know, we, like you said, we played for four quarters, but we didn't close the game out. Oh, another opportunity to take on a fully funded FCS. Uh, the quarterback last week, Brady Gustafson, 6'7", uh, a pro spot prospect. This week you faced the Oregon transfer uh, at Towson. Morgan Mihalik, uh, how are they different in terms of your defensive approach to to facing the Tigers this weekend? Um, I think they're pretty similar, really. Um, they both can uh, run the ball very well. They're both field generals. Um, they can, they're very slippery. Uh, if, you don't, if you don't contain them, they will run on you. Uh, but you know, this, the, the guy from Towson, he's more of a pro style guy. He will throw the, the long ball. Um, but I, I think that our, you know, our, our secondary is gonna be challenged. Our linebackers gonna be challenged. And uh, it's gonna be a great challenge for our defense. On the other side of the football, Marcus Bagley ran for 95 against a very scout <coughs> Grizzly defense. You have all your starting O-linemen back this year. How would you rate their performance a week ago at Montana? There, there was some miscommunication. Um, I'd give it a B plus. I, I think that we can get a lot better up front and uh, we need to get more out of our run game. Uh, we need to take a little more pressure off our quarterback so we can throw the ball more. Um, you know, as Montana, they were really putting essentially eight to nine guys in the box. So we have to get, you know, uh, uh, 
a little better at, at running the ball against them fronts. So we'll take the pressure off when we can get hit the deep balls a little more and then we can get their defense backed out a little bit and then that's only going to help uh, the run game blossom more. CV, good luck Saturday night. Thank you very much. Pat Farball with junior tailback Marcus Bagley. Marcus, backs in this program have uh, tended to uh, wait for their opportunity. Last year you took advantage of it. You earned all conference honors, but you played behind Kahari uh, your first year and a half or so. Now is the first year is the real feature back. Do you take it, uh, look at it as a responsibility to help bring along the, the tailbacks that are following you now? Yes, now that I'm a starter, I'm looked to as the leader of the group. So I try to help them whatever I can, like knowing the plays. I help them with that and the drills. I try to lead to every drill. I step up first, lead the drill, because following behind Kahari, I kind of sat back and took notes. But now that I'm in the driver's seat, I kind of help try to look back and help those guys. 28 carries a week ago against a big uh, Montana defense, 95 yards, almost 100. Uh, how were you feeling Monday? Was there uh, soreness getting that many oh, yeah, carries right off yeah, the bat? Yeah, it was sore. That was my first time really in the game that much, getting that many carries, taking the load. But yeah, I like to thank my whole line for that. And if the hole wasn't there, I try to go through my reads from A gap to B gap, to C gap. And then if it's there, I hit it. Contained last year against Towson, 29 yards yes. for you. The running game uh, was uh, bottled up pretty well. Uh, it was a 35 20 win for the Tigers last year. Are you excited to get another shot at yes, them this we, season? We, we do have a, we're, we're really confident this year going in. Last year, we weren't too confident, but now that we found out we can play against the bigger teams now, we're more confident going in this time. Good luck against Towson. All right, thank you.